This week on Based in Defence, we look at a naval training system that combines artificial intelligence with real-world scenarios. We show you a flight simulator that wraps seamlessly around pirates, so learning complex tasks becomes second nature. And finally, Raytheon shows off its Excalibur munition with some explosive tests. The US Office of Naval Research has unveiled a system that combines simulation with live fleet training. Fleet Integrated Synthetic Training and Testing Facility, or fist to fac allows sailors to interact with artificially intelligent forces in different scenarios. The system can replicate simple or complex situations involving aircraft carriers, helicopters, lethal and non-lethal weapons, and more. The system was delivered in just eight months, and sailors are already training on the system at the Ford Island base in Hawaii. With defence budgets being slashed, the ability to train realistically without expending fuel, weapons and targets is a huge benefit. Boeing is also looking to bring new levels of simulation realism, this time to pilot training, with its Constant Resolution Visual System, or CVRS. CVRS uses a unique curved design that engulfs pilots in 360 degrees of high-resolution imagery so they can train like they fly. The idea is that their brain doesn't realise they're in a simulator, so complex tasks become second nature, as they would be performed for real. They can learn to react automatically to challenges like fire manoeuvres, air to air fueling, formation flying and night vision goggle use. If these examples are anything to go by, military simulation is reaching the point where it will soon be indistinguishable from live training. Back in the real world, Raytheon has released footage of tests on its Excalibur guided artillery shell. The video shows loads of vehicles and infrastructure being very impressively reduced to shrapnel in blast after blast. Other than creating pleasing explosions, the test had a serious purpose – to test Excalibur in a range of environmental conditions. The projectiles were dropped, shaken and exposed to extremes of heat and cold. Despite all this, Excalibur still managed to score direct hits at ranges in excess of 50 kilometres, and any misses were an average of just 2.2 metres off target. With almost 20 years behind it, Excalibur is a well-established part of the US arsenal, and this video really shows why. In this edition of Latest in Defence, we've looked at some highly realistic simulation and explosive real-life testing. Join us next time when we'll be bringing you more military innovations for land, sea and air. In the meantime, check out the Strategic Defence Intelligence website to stay up to date with the latest breaking defence news.